I haven't done a fish tour in a while. Figure out, update myself, do a new one. In here, I have baby platies and some sword fishies. This is a 10 gallon. Got lots of little, little ones in here. Where's the, there's the sword tail and the mother's hiding somewhere. Yeah, she's not being nice. She's doing that hide thing. Most fishies. I can do that. Anyway. Everything here is pretty much the same in Fred and Wilma's tank. Fred is grouchy like always. Eh, Wilma's over here probably. On this side somewhere. Over here with Fred. My koi fishies. Curious as ever, and they're 75 gallon here. Yeah. Hey, no. Over here, my 35 bow front. I got my tigger barbs and my cherry barbs. Plato, and of course, my wetter roach, or dodo loach, some people call them. I call it a wetter loach. They're cool fish. Over here, I got a new 10 gallon, well, it's an older 10 gallon of mine, it's been in the basement. I had a 3 gallon here and a 3.5 gallon square tank. And I just took them up today and uh, put this in its place. The water is still a bit dirty, but uh, it's a bunch of more fry, bloody fry, and stuff were in those three gallons. That was three gallon tanks. Now they're in one 10 gallon tank. Over here, I got me Petco. There's nothing on the glass. I get. Uh, Yappers and a new guy. Um, just Brainiac and uh, Oddball. It's Oddballs. Brainiac. They're doing pretty good in here. Up here is a 20 gallon. This angelfish hasn't been eating a lot, but he's acting fine. I was worried about him three weeks back. But I think he'll be fine. And I put a bunch of babies in here, the bigger, the bigger babies I had. They look pretty cool. And in here I got my black angel fish in 29 gallon. And my uh, neon rainbow fishies. They're really cool. I like them. I have a couple of shrimp, but they're uh, a little bit like rock shrimp, but not quite. They're bluish. They're uh, usually hide underneath stuff, but they eat like rock shrimp with like little cast nets in their hands. But uh, there's my curry cats. They're cool fish. I like them. And of course, my cyclic tank, which is not showing a lot of activity right now. Hey guys. Just poking around, and yeah, I've been trying uh, nearite snails in here, and they've been doing fine so far. Anyway, I see them once in a blue moon. There's one there. I'm thinking about taking him out and put him over there in a 10 gallon, keep the algae down, 
now that I know where he is, I'll probably come back and grab him after this video and move him. But they seem to be doing all right in the cichlid tank. But these are just really small cichlids. This is a 55 gallon tank and well, as you can see those cichlids got a lot of growing yet to do. <laughs> and I also have my, um, there he is. Bristle nose albino right there. Another pico. And that's it for my tanks. All nine of them. I had ten, but I took two out and put this one in place. The bigger tank, better for the fish. He's And small tanks are a little troublesome to maintain, but I'm starting to like the bigger, slightly bigger tanks than them three and five gallon tanks. Maybe good for, you know, new, newly hatched fry and stuff, but, or a beta. A beautiful play call, huh? Yeah. Oh, holy fish, he's got to come in for the action. Yeah. He's got a pretty act. Hmm? Anyway, my entire fish room runs off that one air pump up there. And it just circles around. And I just tap into it for each tank. As you can see. Anyway, what do you think, Snow? Is that a good tour, bud? Yeah? Hmm? You guys like it in there? Huh? Hey, Dragon. Hmm? What's going on, Dragon Wagon? Hmm? Yeah? Who's a pretty fishy? You guys? Yeah? Hey, Dundang. Flying fox, please. Big fat one. See? Very fat. Look at him. <laughs> Lots of stuff in there for him to eat. Yeah. I got two of them in here somewhere. Oh, there's the other guy. See how fat they are? Look, he can barely move around. He's so fat. <laughs> he needs no. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for my tour.